So this is Lil Xan. Um, thanks Hollywood for giving us this character to influence our youth with. That's really cool. Little Xan, like, you know, Xanax bar. So this, this kid is always looking super doped up at all times, you know, same story every time you see him. Um, and yeah, that's him. And it's funny because as time goes on, they're adding more, um, more fake tattoos to his face because, um, they want you to, they want to throw off, throw you off the scent the best they can. And this is how they do it. So they add these fake tattoos to kind of like cover up the face, you know, to throw you off. Kind of like, I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with, um, spy cars. So like if a car company like Ford or Chevy brings out a new car, right. They'll cover it in that black and white looking zigzag pattern, um, car wrap. So you don't, you can't see the lines of the car. It, it's hard to give, it, it distorts your image of the car. So I think, you know, with the fake tattoos and um, even not even on the face, but just all over the place really um, is a telltale sign. So um, yeah, Lil Xan is actually Billie Eilish, Eilish. I don't even know how to say that, but yeah, that's him. Um, this is the same person. Um, it's a trip. You also have to um, definitely take a look at the nose, right? The other thing I would take a look at is the lips. Um, and I don't know, it's weird because I don't know if this is the, wh who's the base character. And I, I'm assuming the, the female is the base character, but you know how they play mind tricks with us. So I wouldn't be surprised either way, but what we need to walk away from this knowing is that this is absolutely the same person. Okay. Um, and then there's one other thing, dang, and I keep forgetting, but, uh, oh, oh, oh yeah. Okay. So, yeah, about like, you know, the trans um, transvestigations and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm trying my best to stay away from it. I know for a fact that, yes, they, they're fucking with us and they're, you know, assigning different genders or whatever they're doing. But um, I'm not so quick to just call every man a woman and every woman a man. Because it's like, well, how are you going to really tell if without like, you know, getting them on stage in front of everybody and pulling their pants down, right? You're just, you're just really not going to know. And again, it's my opinion, you guys. So, you know, a lot of you guys have come over from uh, Mag Bitter Truth. And, you know, I have my feelings about that channel, right? Um, but just, just understand that a lot of these truther channels are, are, are put out there for their honeypots. OK, so they attract you and they'll keep you there for a long time. Um, just just understand that, you guys, because if you're on this page, if you're on my channel, then I know for sure, like your your you, your mind is open, you know, so nothing is off the table here. The only reason I, I just don't get into the, you know, transvestigation stuff is, you know, I can't really prove it. And the stuff that I do is like based off of observation from, you know, stock Google photos. Right. So, um, yeah, so, uh, you guys, uh, I guess till next time, have a good one.